Hey, what is up investors? Jason here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look over at the Chinese EV stocks, Neo X Peng Li Auto. I like these three stocks. I think they're really good. Um, but there has been some issues going on in China. As you guys are aware, there has been a crackdown and it's uh, also preventing companies that are looking to IPO here in the US that are Chinese from doing so. But these three in particular, these companies have already IPO'd here a while ago. So they're, they're already trading here in the United States. And many people have been selling out of these and many institutions have been selling out of them and a lot of new retail investors have been buying up these stocks my opinion i really like these i think that these companies have great potential and china is the largest ev market out there now there is a whole lot of u.s interest also in these three companies so we need to be taking a look at these just to give us an understanding of how the entire ev space is doing and we also know that tesla also is making vehicles there in china Ch tesla does have a factory there they are selling vehicles and these are Tesla's competitors. So let's take a look at their numbers for July. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or just gently press that like button. That does help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. It helps spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting. And subscribe if you have not already. And if you are interested in being a Patreon and helping support this channel, I do have one. There is also a Discord with that. The link is in the description. I've been doing some updates on my Patreon, trying to make it look a little bit better for you guys. So now let's get to it. So starting first with NEO, now looking at NEO from the last three days, the stock is down a bit, but at the same time, it's not as bad as it could be. So there was a lot of institutions that did sell off in NEO, but retail investors were lucky enough to start picking up the stock at those lower prices. You can see that they really came in and helped pick the stock up a little bit, it helped prevent it from going down too much. So that's a really good thing. And I, I still see that there's a lot of potential with NEO here in the future. Now let's get over to NEO's delivery numbers first and see what they got going on. So NEO's deliveries for July was 7,931 vehicles. And those uh, deliveries consisted of 1,702 ES8s, 3,669 ES6s, and 2,560 EC6s. So in total, their deliveries for all time are now 125,528 vehicles that the automaker has now delivered to customers. NEO delivered about 150 less vehicles in July than they did in June, but at the same time, there is a semiconductor shortage, so you have to keep that in mind. Now let's look over at what Xping is doing. Now looking at Xpeng stock over the last three days, you can see that retail investors really helped out this stock as there was a bit of selling off by institutions. We can see where Xpeng stock started and where it currently is. Retail investors really did buy up this dip a lot. Now this situation could have been a lot worse and luckily it did not take too much of an effect on the actual stock. So very happy to see that retail investors really did come through and they really did buy up that dip because at one point this stock was actually about $10 less uh, at the end of July than it currently is. So just in a few days from the time I'm making this video or a few uh, trading days, I should say, this stock did manage to go up quite a bit, which is a really nice thing about it. So a really interesting thing here is that Xpeng reported that it delivered 8,040 of its smart electric vehicles in July. And that's also up 22% from last month. So now they are beating NEO in deliveries. Now deliveries during the month consisted of 6,054 of their P7 sports sedans and 1,986 of their G3 compact SUVs. And this is according to a statement, the company further expanded its product portfolio in July with the launch of the G3i, the G3's SUV's mid-face facelift version with deliveries expected this September. So a lot of interesting things coming out of Xpeng now. Now let's look over at what Li Auto is doing. Now Li Auto, same thing. This stock could have been a much worse situation, but the retail investors really did help lift this stock up after there was a lot of selling off going on. A lot of people selling out of China and Li Auto was lucky enough to be able to get a lot of retail investors interested in the stock and to start pushing this thing back up and it kept it from really going down too much. So that's a really great thing. And it actually, if you were to compare it, um, it, it's not doing too bad. It's the stock pretty much hasn't gone down much if you were looking at it from where it was 30 days ago to now. Now, Lee is also beating out Neo 
as well. Now, Lee Auto said that it delivered 8,589 vehicles of its Lee One electric sport utility vehicle in July, and that's up from 11.4% from where they were at in June deliveries. Now, July marked the first month deliveries crossed the 8,000 unit threshold, according to the company. The electric automaker said that 2021 deliveries totaled 38,743 as of July 31st, bringing cumulative deliveries of the Lee One to 72,340 since its market debut. Now, this is just one vehicle that Lee actually makes too. So when they do start coming out with a more of a lineup of vehicles, uh, who knows where this one's going to be going. This is one that is really good competition for everybody out there since there's only one vehicle to their name at this moment. So it's very important that we get an idea now what the analysts are saying about these three stocks. Now, starting first with what the analysts are saying about NEO. Um, NEO currently priced at $44.50 at the time of making this. The low, $19. The median, around $59. And the high, $92. So looking at where NEO currently is, it's still got plenty of room to grow to the median. Now, my actual prediction of where neo stock is going to be going is above where the high is i can actually see neo stock going above 100 dollars, and i think that we could even be seeing that come uh, before the end of this year i wouldn't be surprised there's a lot of stuff coming ne uh, early next year to really be uh, looking out for what neo has going on like, you know, with a new vehicle and as well as really expanding out their vehicle production there's going to be a lot of big things come from neo i think neo in my opinion is the big dog but they didn't really do as well as the other ones for the delivery. But I think in the future, Neo is going to be the one that is going to have much larger numbers. Now, let's go look over what the analysts are saying about Xpeng. And Xpeng currently trading at $42.65 at the time making this video. The low where the analysts are, look, uh, are saying this could be going is $31.52. A median, $50. And a high of around $72. Now, I also think... That for Expo, we could see this going more closer to $100 as well. I think that's very possible. Now, uh, if we were looking at where the median is, there's still plenty of room to grow to just get to that median. And I think that this is all very possible and uh, things to be looking at. Now, let's go over and look at what they're saying about Lee Auto. Now, Lee Auto currently trading at $32.55. The low where the analysts are projecting that it could go is $22. The, the median, about $40. And the high, $61. Now, it's got plenty of room to grow to that median, but this high, I think that it can go a little bit above that. I think we could be seeing Liotto going to like $70, $80 within these next 12 months. There's a lot of stuff that's going on there in China. There's a lot of expansions going on with their factories and a lot of things to really be looking forward to with all three of these companies. So we really do need to be keeping an eye on on the things that are going on in China because we know just by off of things that we saw back in 2020, you cannot really predict what is going to happen anything is possible like neo for example that was a stock that went from being around two dollars a share to going up you know above forty dollars a share things are pretty crazy in this entire space but what we do know is the analysts are still very bullish on all three of these stocks so if the analysts are still bullish on them that is a great thing it doesn't matter if the institutions right now are selling out of it that that is just more of a possibility for a win for everybody that is a retail investor that is buying into this stock because um, as China is doing their own little crackdowns, that's still not really affecting these companies because they are already publicly traded. And not only that, there is a lot of interest, like with, with NEO, for example, that the Chinese government is invested into. So they really do like that money coming in from the United States. But they don't want newer companies right now to start IPOing and have some sort of disaster like what we've been seeing recently with stocks like Didi or when they recently IPO'd. But anyways, all this is great stuff. I think that there's a lot of potential to happen. I think a lot of great things to continue coming from these three companies, especially as all three of them are expanding their factories. So these are going to be really gross stocks to keep an eye on. So anyways, with that being said, I'd like to hear what you guys think about these three stocks. Do you think that we're going to still see continued growth or do you think that we could even be seeing some pullback? I'd like to know. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video coming very soon.